inserting a graph between Excel and Word is actually fairly easy. Um, first thing we'll do is select some data to make a graph from. Now, it's only really important that you choose a chart that is the most appropriate for the data you're using. So I'm choosing a pie chart here. It may or may not be the most appropriate for this data, but it's good for the example that we're working with today. Once you've created the graph or the chart, it's really easy to just copy it, switch to your Word document, and paste it in. Now, instead of just using a keyboard shortcut, it's really, really powerful to have a look at these different options. Specifically, this one, which just inserts the chart as an image, or this option, which keeps the formatting and links the data between Word and Excel. This is the option I will choose, and I'll show you why in just a second. As you can see, this wedge here um, is the largest. It's the Pepsi wedge. This chart is dynamically linked to the data in Excel. What I mean by that is the data that we're seeing here reflects the data in Excel. And if we change the data in Excel, we'll see a change here and in our Word document live. So right now, I'll change this number from 500 to um, something really large, just so we can see what we're working on. And as you can see, that wedge has become noticeably bigger. If I go back to my Word document, we should now see that the wedge is updated here too. So it's a live link. If I had pasted that as an image, I wouldn't have seen any change whatsoever. So uh, within reason, or by and large, you should always paste retaining formatting and with a link to Excel.